Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. So I've come back to our, our home base island, done a bit of maintenance, caught a few more birds and put them up on the drying racks, watered our garden, went and collected our fish traps, I uh, went for a walk through through the woods to see if there was any uh, papayas grown. It's a couple of baby ones on the trees, but they're not ready yet. Uh, I did have a comment saying that there was a muddy pond on this island, but I couldn't find it. There's a big clearing, but it is dry as a bone. So no water in there because you can boil muddy water and it'll become clean water. Uh, so, but anyway, what we're going to do, it is still night time on the seventh day down here. Uh, what we're going to do now, last time I showed you these oil lanterns and how to use them, or rather how to put them on, didn't show you how to light them up or how to fill them, but it's pretty easy. So you need your fire saw. Now every time you use the fire saw, it's going to wear down. So you might want to have a couple of spares. Simply use it like that. And see it's got 100. That'll burn down as it uses it up. So this one over here is a candle lantern. So we need to pop a candle in that one. And we light it up the same way. And that's a lot brighter, I think, the light on that. So I'll pop our fire, fire saw away. And we'll hold down our uh, left mouse button to just ex extinguish that. And, yeah, I mean, that candle lantern is way brighter than, uh, than that one. And that's also got a value of 100. That'll burn down as well. So we'll extinguish that. Now... Funnily enough, there is a bit of a bug here. So, we can grab a bottle, an empty bottle. And we can empty that lantern into the bottle. And now this bottle has water in it. So, I'm going to put that water in there. So now it's empty again. So there's two ways of uh, filling up a lantern. You can grab oil in a bottle. And you can just fill it straight away like that. Or, and you don't want to drop a bottle on your raft while you're out in the water. Uh, you can grab the lantern and use it on the bottle you can also empty it back into the bottle or you can use it on the barrel that's fine either way so grab that bottle we'll pour that back into the barrel pop that bottle away uh actually i'm gonna need some oil in a bottle for something else that i'll show you in a minute so fill that up Alrighty, so we've got this lantern. We'll just pop that up there. Okay. Uh, now, so with the candles, now we have also got this type of candle holder. And we pop this on exactly the same way as we did the other ones. Maybe a bit lower down. So we'll pop this in our bedroom. Now these ones are a bit harder to light sometimes if it's windy and outdoors so these ones are better off used indoors we need to smack it with our hammer first twice we'll do it with a wooden hammer okay now if we want to take that off then we need to have our hammer in our hand and use our uh, right mouse button and then pop our hammer away and we can detach it. So we'll pop it back on. We will smack it again. We will grab this candle here. Pop that in there. 
and we will grab our fire saw see it's too windy okay so we need to get our windows on here to get that one lit so that's not going to let us light that one now we do have one other type of candle holder but honestly it's no good on a raft it's these ones here and they just sit on whatever you sit them on you can't really you know you can't attach it so it's no good on the raft at your home base maybe now I could light that one so it mustn't be as windy out here as it is in our bedroom but we'll extinguish that I'll have another go at this one and you can see the green line on our fire saw is sort of starting to uh, wear out a bit that lights the place up quite nicely so we'll extinguish that one now yeah, we've also got these torch holders so you've got a couple of options for torches pop that in there okay so we've got uh, fire sticks now you can't just put a fire stick straight in there okay we need to point down at the ground yeah, there, there is another way but this is the first way so we'll pop it in the sand so it's sticking up okay and we can light that one with our fire saw can put that back we can extinguish that pick it up and now it is a stick torch so now uh, we need to hammer that in so all right so I forgot to hammer that in so I'll just show you again with a normal fire stick can't add it once you've lit it up it's turned into a stick torch pop that in there and once again we can light it there okay we can't take it while it's in the holder we can extinguish it and we can't put it in while it's already lit so all right two more options for torches which supposedly should burn a little bit better for a bit longer going to our crafting we've got a bandage torch that takes a fire stick and a bandage and some oil and we've also got the coconut fiber one so we'll put our two fire sticks in there one in each bandage in that one coconut fiber in that one got our bottle of oil here okay now these you can't put them in your bag okay but same sort of principle now I'm not sure I don't think you can store them either I can't put that in there either so the only way that you can store them is to put them in these torch holes okay so what I'll do grab this other fire stick so if you want to take it out grab it from there from the bottom and put that in our bag can't put this one so pop that in there All right, so now with our fire, we can light that up, but we need kindling. Each time you light it up and put it out, 
lighter up again you're going to need to put fresh kindling in so you've got two options the dead grass or coconut fiber i always go for the dead grass because the coconut fiber we always want for our ropes now i've already got um kindling in this one so we're just going to pull out our fire saw here and we're going to light that up and now we can grab this torch and we can hold down our left mouse button click on that and light that up and then we can light these torches we can extinguish this one put that in our bag and we can't pick those up but we can extinguish that Alright, now if you want to put this fire out, you need to put it out with water. So, we've got oil in that. We will go and pop that in the barrel. So, you don't want to use your good drinking water. So, we've got a barrel of salt water. Now, if you use a bucket one full bucket is going to put it out but the bucket being something that you can't put in your bags you could accidentally pick something up and drop your bucket on your raft if you're out in the water that's going to mess you up so we can we can use a bottle okay but we'll need two lots So a second lot, and there we go, fires out. Now, in order to light it up again, we'll need to put more kindling in it. So grab one of these, put these up here. Pop that in, and it's not letting me. Try that again. Alright. Don't know what's going on there. It's a bit of a glitch. So, alright. I'm just going to do a quick save and a reload. Wouldn't let me put it in there. Well, it's disappeared. So maybe it did go in there. Let's see. No, it needs kindling. All right. Let's put our fire saw away. So I don't know what happened there. Early access. Grab one more. Try that again. There we go. That went in that time. And we try and light it this time though. It won't let us light it because the wood's all wet because we just soaked it with water. So basically if you want to light it up again, you're going to have to wait until it dries out. Um, now if you'd let it burn down a lot more, you could add more dry wood to it. But uh, at the moment that's completely soaked. So, what we might end up doing is putting in a second fire up here. But, uh, now you can also, I believe you can also light the fire with a fire stick or a torch. So, let's just light this up. Pop that away. Grab out our torch like that and ignite so if it wasn't wet we could light the fire with this but because it's wet it's not going to let us at the moment but uh just so you know 
that is how you can do it. Alrighty. Now, for some reason, I can now not put this in my bag. Alright, that's really weird because I had it in my bag before so maybe that's what was causing my glitch so anyway I'll drop that don't ever drop on the floor while you're in while you're on the water extinguish that one we will pick that one up and that's the basics of fire now couple of other things you can go into recipes over here if you don't have oil you can make sorry let's, let's cancel that you can make fish oil with a coconut pot and some water and two salmon or you can make palm oil with a coconut pot and water and some coconut flesh and put it on the fire cook it up and you'll get some oil so that's gonna do it for this episode if you did enjoy this episode please leave me a like or a comment down below if you've got any other tips or tricks with fire or uh, torches or any of that sort of thing then uh Feel free to comment down below if you're new here and you want to see more don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video